200 event book tour and met people building small empires all across North America. Now I'm back with a new season, revisiting some of my favorite stops from the tour. The way the federal government does procurement and does IT uh, is just generally not very efficient. How do you go about bringing technology into an industry like government that has generally been really reluctant to it? Government and technology have very different logics and operating principles. Uh, government is supposed to be slow and deliberate and judicious. Technology is about, in many ways, disruption, innovation, and a very quick pace. And so what I've seen from my time working on the Hill and the executive branch and now at the Open Gov Foundation is the difficulty really is syncing up the, the pace at which things move. What is the goal of the Open Gov Foundation? Our mission is to make government accountable, accessible, and understandable to citizens using technology. Right now, your government is making new laws, new taxes, new rules that directly impact your life. Did you have a say in shaping them? Why should government be accountable to its citizens, right? I, as a citizen, it's really easy to feel disenfranchised from it all. The government stems of the people, by the people, and it's supposed to work for the people. And that all adds up to accountability. It was baked into our constitution, and it, it's hard to find around here sometimes today. So there's a lot of talk about opening up the data within government. Um, but there is a big difference between taking laws, for instance, that are currently in a dead tree book, right. and turning them into PDFs versus turning them into machine-readable data. Can you talk about that a little bit? For many, the PDF is the apotheosis of internet-based document technology. It works, but it doesn't work as well as it could. Explaining the value proposition behind open data and all the things that it can do with you is the first place to start. And I think that the technology community has not done a good enough job uh, telling that story. Like, we can help you, government people, do your jobs for citizens way more efficiently and effectively at lower cost with open data and open source software. What do you think of a modern internet tool like Capital Bells? I love Capital Bells. Uh, I think it's a great hack in the, the original uh, sense of the term. Looking at an internal system like the house radio uh, system for votes and getting that very, very tiny, in the grand scheme of things, data point attached to your mobile phone and attached to all of this other information that's available about what Congress is doing is brilliant. Uh, I high five Ted every time I see him. <laughs> A government that is by the people and for the people should be open and transparent with its data. That data belongs to us, after all. But 300 years ago when this country was getting started, it was a lot harder to spread ideas. There are only so many quill pens and horses to go around. But today, because of technology like the internet and software, it's a lot easier. In fact, the thing that's holding us back today isn't the technology, it's the rules. Rules that have been in place for centuries that keep us from going forward. When you look at a place like this that has gobs of money, that has lots of power and influence, well, why doesn't it have the best tools to do its job? There are rules barriers there. Uh, up here, people that make laws love to make rules. And the body is governed by technology rules and technology infrastructure that are out of date. And so things like open source software, it's not clear if you can even use it here. And that was actually one of the main reasons that we left the Hill. We have to get the heck out of Dodge and create this in an infrastructure outside of government. And it's because there are rules that straight up prevent really cool innovative stuff from happening inside the walls of government. I think in the ideal world, um, we stay and we improve the institution from the inside. But right now, uh, we have to do some work to change those rules and make the house open source friendly, just like the White House down the street. Why do you do what you do? Are you jumping out of bed because you love bringing data to the world from, uh, from the bowels of government? I get out of bed every morning trying to give people a voice in what happens in their government, whether it's at a state, a county, local, or a federal level. Uh, there are so many people in this country who are brilliant, who have good ideas, who are crying out for government to meet their needs that they should be, that aren't heard because they aren't rich. They don't have lobbyists, they don't have influence, and they don't get through. And where technology comes into that is it makes government fundamentally able to listen.